When it comes to action movies, few titles live up to Terminator and Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Not even the two following sequels, Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines and Terminator Salvation, could live up to the potential of the series. But now, there is a new installment to the franchise, with Terminator Genesis. And could this one possibly succeed where the last two have failed? Terminator Genesis starts out in the future timeline, where the war between man and machine is on full force. And things are pretty badass here. As a last ditch effort, the machine sent a T-800 back in time to kill Sarah Connor in 1984, which would lead into the original Terminator. And just as in the original, Kyle Reese, played by Jai Courtney, is sent back in time, and in this one they even explain why he lands roughly on the ground while the Terminator lands perfectly fine in the original Terminator. Now, in 1984, Kyle discovers that he is in an entirely new timeline, where Sarah Connor, now played by Daenerys Targaryen, I mean Amelia Clark, already knows about him because she has been being trained by a good T-800 model since she was a child training for the day in 1997 where she would have to stop Skynet from being launched. But now, they are in an entirely new timeline, so things are a bit different. But the outcome of the timelines is still the same. The explanation for why the T-800 Arnold looks older in this movie makes a lot of sense. It is living tissue over a robotic skeleton, so it, in theory, could age. The story makes sense for the most part. There are a few plot holes that I noticed here and there, but it's an entirely new timeline, so I suppose I can accept them. There are also some pretty good one-liners thrown in, such as, old but not obsolete, and the classic, I'll be back. There's also another time traveler in this movie. I'm not gonna say who it is, but you'll see when you see it. <laughs> Genesis was even kind of like a partial remake at times where it remade certain events almost exactly as they were in the original, which isn't so much of a bad thing. I thought that was a pretty cool idea. All of the main models of Terminators are showcased in this movie. The classic T-800 with an old Arnold versus CG young Arnold. And surprisingly, the CG young Arnold doesn't really look all that bad. All of the Terminators actually look fairly good in CG most of the time. There are of course a few points that are a bit iffy though, but that's to be expected I guess. They also show a new T-1000 model, played by Lee Byung-hun, who I think makes a pretty decent T-1000. The T-1000 looks very graphically similar to the original in T-2, but I don't really have a problem with that, because he still looks good. There is also a new model of Terminator, which I believe is the T-3000, that can copy a human and replace them on a cellular level, kind of like a nanomachine Terminator. All in all, the movie is actually fairly good, and I think it is the best of the Terminator sequels after Terminator 2. You could go directly from T2 to Genesis and not miss anything important in the last two sequels. I think this is a good sequel and I recommend you give it a watch if you are a fan of the Terminator series. However, although I think this movie is pretty good, it does have its flaws. Firstly, I don't really buy Jason Clark as John Connor. I mean, the guy is a good actor, don't get me wrong. But when you thought of the war-hardened John Connor, you probably didn't think of this guy. And wait a second. Jason Clark? Amelia Clark? No relation. You pick the two actors with the same last name to play two characters that are mother and son. Is that something you did on purpose? What, what, what was that? Also, as I said before, the Terminators were good for the most part in the CG department. Which is good, but surprisingly, the thing that the CG department failed on was the helicopters. That scene's graphics were terrible. Really, go watch that scene and you'll see what I'm talking about. The helicopter scene was bad. Another problem was actually not with the movie itself, but with the advertising of it. Whoever put together the trailer did a piss poor job and gave away the big reveal of the movie. So whoever did that, you're an idiot. And for those that haven't seen the trailer, don't watch it, because it will spoil a major plot point for you. I, unfortunately, did see the trailer, which was pretty shitty. But with all that set aside, I gotta say that I did enjoy Terminator Genesis. It is the third best Terminator movie, and I would say it is a decent addition to the franchise. Give it a watch. This has been Doughboy with Hardcore Academy, and peace out.